So something I've only done a few times in DaVinci Resolve since I first started using it around a year and a half ago is a multicam. And multicams are easy but quite complicated. Um, once you know how to do it, they're not a pain in the ass. But they're complicated until you figure out how to do it. So import your two clips, um, ideally from your camera and not your camera or two different cameras that are synced using audio so like what I did or what I do when I uh, do multicam clips is I <laughs> clap at the beginning of them three times and then in case the multicam is unable to automatically sync up um, I can manually do it like that by referencing those three points <clears throat> I also do that for syncing up audio from my blue snowball with audio from my phone camera sometimes so yeah so highlight your video clip things and then where is a new multicam using selected clips and then frame rate 30 uh, multicam I guess you can name it that um, angle sync or yeah angle sync is sound and then that's pretty much it then click create and it's gonna analyze and I will warn you um, it's gotten better over the year or so I've known how to do this um, it does require a pretty beefy CPU and then if you're lucky <laughs> it'll put it in maybe yeah here we go multicam and then it made a folder for your original clips um, where's the back button? master um, so then you can drag your multicam into DaVinci Resolve now. And it's at this point that I would recommend saving. But since I'm not doing this for like an actual project, I'm not sure why Razor was selected. Since I'm not doing this for an actual project, I'm not going to actually save it because I don't need to. So you can double click on it to bring up the inspector or you can just click inspector or I don't know what it's called. Well, you can double click on this to hide your inspector otherwise this is usually up on its own so next you're going to you're gonna want to click multicam and something that you're going to want to do if you have two audio tracks is figure out which one has the best audio track so this video hasn't started over here yet okay one second. Now his video just started and you'll see what Okay, so you'll see what happen, what'll happen now if I click this one. It's also going to change over to his audio track. You can clearly hear that switch if you listen to it here. So, yeah, in this case, his audio track actually sounds better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click just the video now since this one is set to his audio track and I'm going to ripple delete this um, so now this is on his audio track and now if we select my track again you can see it's only changing it's only changing the track or <clears throat> you can see now it's only changing in between video clips which is quite valuable I guess so now if you look through this um, once again, requires quite a beefy CPU. Um, so you, it, it does get better at it over time, but yeah, it, it requires quite a beefy CPU, a lot of RAM, as you can see here. And yeah, so the normal project, like memory that it will take up, is around two gigs for me, two and a half sometimes. And right now I've barely done anything and it's already almost at three and a half okay well no it's just dropped a bit but if we like change it even more swap them around you know so when we go my camera his camera or my camera his camera and then now we'll see it's just gonna go crazy then if we try and play it 
shit, yeah. <laughs> Does not like it. Whatsoever. See there? Three and a half gigabytes. And, yes, this generally shows the amount of sheer horsepower. It's not even the right word because it's a computer. The sheer processing power that your computer needs. And of course, if you just want to switch between audio clips, you can also just boom. What? Come on. Should be one of them, maybe. Well, if you want to change audio clips, you just select the like music note, and then yeah. Um, the music note doesn't seem to work. Nor does that. Okay. So, I hope this video helped you out. I saw some people on the DaVinci Resolve product forms were having issues with this. So, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time. Um, sorry about the gaming videos coming out recently. Um, I've been out of ideas for ages. And they are quite useful. Or, and fun to record. Plus, somehow they've been getting, like, views recently on my channel. So, yeah. I'm just gonna kinda... I have two or three more videos that are coming out gaming that have been recorded and then there will maybe still be tech hit videos coming after the one that was uploaded the day of recording this so i will see you next time good